What's up everybody, Adrian here, back with another video, and this time I'm gonna give you a quick writing tip that I like to use that involves character development. Now, it doesn't matter if you're writing a screenplay, a story, this will apply to everything. So when you're trying to dig deeper into a character and figure out their backstory, make them relatable, figure out their motivation, try to make them likable, whatever, here's what I like to do. It might seem like a waste of time in the short run, but in the long run, it will really come in handy. It will help you to develop characters better and easier. Think of it like a fun brain activity that will only help you get better in writing characters. So most people just try to think of a detailed, deep backstory for their main characters, main villains, maybe the love interest or like the first friend of the main character and give them more elaborate, deeper backstories. But then they always forget about the friend of the friend backstory or the parents of the main character backstory. My tip is come up with little backstories to every single character, no matter how big or little the character is. Let's say you have a character that's only in the movie or your story for a second. Maybe he has one line. Maybe he's really not that important anyway. So what? Develop a deep backstory for that little character. It doesn't matter how big or small of a role your character has in your story. Treat him like a main character develop a backstory of how he grew up. Maybe the backstory has nothing to do with this particular story that you're writing, but you don't know that it'll come in handy until later on. Plus, it will help you figure out the type of personality your character has and how he will act and react to other characters in the movie. Maybe this little character with a minuscule role at first you think will act this way against the main character or the villain, but once you develop the backstory and figure out how he grew up all the pain that he went through or whatever the backstory is then you'll figure out wait a minute this is how he's supposed to react this is how he should react based on his backstory maybe you'll never bring up the backstory ever but you'll have it in the back of your mind and you'll know how he should react or what he should do next now you're probably asking like the thumbnail what does this have to do with friends well the reason the sitcom friends was so popular and it lasted for so long is because the writers took their time time and put a lot of effort in developing their backstories. Now if you've seen the show, there's episodes that they flash back to when they were in high school or when they were in college and the characters have elaborate backstories even back then. So it makes sense to why they react and are the way they are now because how they were in high school and in college and how they interacted with each other. Why Ross loves Rachel so much, why Monica was fat but then she got really skinny and hot. Also, I think back to Friday the 13th, the character who played Jason's mother, she did an interview and she said that she personally thought of a backstory in her mind. She didn't even tell the director or the producer, I think, of how the mother was taking care of Jason as a baby or even before she had Jason as a baby. She thought of a relationship she had with her boyfriend or husband, how they met, and that helped her to figure out how to play the character of of Jason's mother, how she would act towards the camp counselors and the campers, what her motivation would be, why she has so much anger, and why she wants to kill and get revenge for Jason. All that was based on the backstory of the backstory that she came up with. And they never even used it in the movie, but it helped her to think of how to play the character. I'd like to talk to you about the character of Mrs. Voorhees. Because since I've told you I am an actress, and a very sincere actress, uh, I always do preparation for a character before I actually come upon the scene. Whether it's on stage, whether it's in film, it doesn't matter. You, there is a life that exists for all of these characters before they walk on stage or before you see them on film. When I was reading the script, there was one shot and of course this is all on paper, but of a hand, and it had a, a school ring, a high school ring on one of the fingers. And I said to myself, that's it. She's my age. She went to school the same time that I did back in the 1940s, high school. And back then you went steady, and you wore the guy's ring with a lot of tape around it, you know, or to make it fit, or around your neck on a piece of string. So I said, okay. I, I can relate to that. I can understand the 1940s. All right, that's, that's for beginners for her. Now, in those days, 
we were pretty uptight about making love, making out. I don't know what people call it anymore. Well, I know what they call it, but I'm not going to use the F word. <laughs> you know, cool. So anyway, right now that is. Um, I said, thought to myself, what happened to her was that they were very much in love. They did make love with one another, and she became pregnant. Now, I'm making this up, mind you. This is not in the script, so you have to remember that. So uh, I decided that she said to the young man, the boy at school, you know, I'm pregnant, and what are we going to do? And he said, oh, get away from me. No, 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 no. I can't do anything about it. So she decided that she would just try to carry through <clears throat> with the whole idea and hope that her family wouldn't notice. Well, after she was pregnant, about six, seven months, she did begin to show her pregnancy. So the father had to be told, and he has a terrible, terrible anger with her. And out, get out of my door, don't you ever come back again. I never want to see you. How dare you disgrace the family, the whole thing. This is just this kid in high school, you know, 10th grade or whatever. And so um, she leaves. And at that time, I had been involved with the Salvation Army and on their advisory board for 25 years, as a matter of fact. And I used to go sometimes and have lunch at a place that they had, a home they had for unwed mothers. So I figured she went to the Salvation Army, had the baby there. Now, time goes by, she still doesn't know how to earn a living. And this summer camp job, when the little boy's about five or six, comes along and she thinks, oh, how wonderful my child can be with other boys and girls and have a nicer life. And so I knew that I could wash dishes and that I could cook and things like that and I would be there with him. And that will help you figure out in your story how to write the characters the best way based on their personalities, their motivations, and their character arc. How they start out, what they learn, and how they end up at the end. It doesn't matter if there's a background character who just looks at the main character for a second, maybe says one line. Take that one character and come up with an elaborate deep backstory because you never know. You might decide, hey, that character in the background, let's develop him more. Let's bring him in the foreground. Let's give him more lines. Let's give him a bigger role. Let's make him the love interest. You never know. You'll switch it up a million times. But because you have those backstories lined up, ready to go, just in case the process of writing will go much easier and smoother. Give the random waitress in a scene at a diner that she just hands the food in and they have a quick back and forth and you know maybe she says something a little bit deeper that you weren't expecting but because you came up with a backstory about her how she grew up as a single mother how maybe her father wasn't there or something like that you can incorporate that later on if you want to the main characters. If you put in that little extra effort that's what will separate a great story and character development from just some piece of crap that anybody can write. So I really hope you try this tip because it made me a better character writer. So thanks for watching. Until next time, see you next video.